What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. I have shot a lot of Atlas stones on this channel, but today I have one that you have never seen before and I'm super excited to test out. Let's go check this thing out and get started. Soccer would be a lot more entertaining if they used one of these balls. That's looking pretty good. So this is a Rogue Fitness 200 pound Atlas stone. The other Atlas stones we have shot on this channel were solid concrete. This Atlas stone is six and a half inches of rubber all the way around surrounding an iron core. So because this thing is mostly rubber, I'm definitely gonna keep my distance today just in case we were to have a ricochet. The concrete Atlas stone stopped quite a bit. I am really curious to see what this thing can stop. So let's go get set up and get started. But first, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Hero Wars. Halloween is right around the corner and so is Hero Wars Sweepstake Event. And I gotta say, they're offering some huge prizes and rewards. All you have to do is click my link in the description down below or scan my QR code. Then all you have to do is complete the tutorial, create an account, get your in-game ID, and then you can take part in the sweepstakes. You'll have a chance to win one of many different Amazon gift cards, some up to $100. The giveaway is currently set for November 2nd, but that's only if we have 10,000 downloads using my link by October 31st. It's one entry per person and it's absolutely free for non-registered users. On November 2nd, they'll display the winners on their website, so get signed up now before it's too late. And just in case you didn't know, Hero Wars is an online, free-to-play, team-based fantasy action RPG that you can play on your mobile device as well as your desktop. It's set in the world of Dominion and filled with a variety of colorful characters and adversaries who you can learn more about through the campaign with over 130 missions. But it doesn't stop there. There's plenty of other game modes, the Outlands, the Tower, the Airship, and for you PvP enthusiasts, the Arena and the Grand Arena. A big thank you to Hero Wars for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. So after doing some threat assessment, I've decided not to shoot the rubber Atlas stone with pistols. I think there's a chance that some of the smaller pistol calibers could just bounce right off of it and I do not want that. So I think today we're just gonna stick with rifles. The first rifle I'm using is a kel SU-16. This is chambered in 5.56. I have actually never shot this thing before so I'm really excited to try it out. then let's check this out. I'm actually surprised that I managed to hit it because these sights on this thing are kind of wonky. <laughs> we have three hits all right here. I am going to go ahead and mark these. Say five. Oh, that's not writing too well, is it? Ugh. Yeah, no, didn't make it through it. <laughs> All right, up next is gonna be 7.62 by 39, and I'll be using an AK guy, AK-47. And we'll be loaded up with some 7.62 by 39 full metal jackets. So I learned that I'm not very accurate with this AK when I put it on my shoulder, so I'm just gonna shoot it like a pistol. All right, let's see if I can hit it. I don't know. I think I hit it. <laughs> Let's check it out. So I can already tell that I hit our table and I saw the water move back there. So I figured I hit low and it looks like I hit low here also, but I did manage to hit the Atlas stone. We hit right there. 
Nope, not even close. <laughs> up next, we are gonna step it up to 308. This is a Springfield Armory SOCOM 16. I have never shot this thing before, so I'm super excited to try it out. I'm gonna be loaded up with some 308 full metal jackets. Let's see here. I'm not sure if I hit it. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Okay. Looks like I hit it right here and right here. I was aiming in this area, but hit low. Thing right 308 with my marker that's not working very well. Roll this thing a little bit. And again, there is nothing coming out the back. Oh, hey friend, are you watching this video and you're not subscribed? Hit that subscribe button. Do it! Just do it! 556, 7.62 by 39 and 308 have done absolutely nothing to this Atlas stone. Now we're gonna step it up to 30-06 and this is probably my favorite rifle of all time, the Ohio Ordnance H car. And I'll be loaded up with some 30-06 full metal jackets. Let's check this thing out. Uh, I got one hit here and I don't see the second shot. I was a little quick on that second shot, so I figured I missed it. We can't all be Jerry Mitchellick. 30 yacht six. So we hit right there and nothing. I mean, not a thing. I'm gonna be honest. I'm kind of doubtful that anything is gonna make it through this, but we gotta at least try. I think it's time to step it up to some big boys. This is my bolt action elephant rifle. This is a CZ 550 and it's chambered in 416 Rigby. That is a 400 grain brass solid. <laughs> Let's go check that out. Well, well, well. How the turns table. So we shot the Atlas Stone with the 416 Rigby Brass Solid. We hit right here, and you can see that hole's bigger than all the other rifle holes. And uh, spin this thing around, and we went through it. We went through the 200 pound rubber Atlas Stone with a 416 Rigby. 416 Rigby just doesn't care what you're shooting at. Anytime we use that rifle, it just zips right through it like butter. 4, 16. We've made it through the stone, but I still have two more rifles that I want to hit this thing with. The 416 Rigby did the trick, but now I'm going to take a shot at it with the 458 lot. That is a 500 grain brass solid. And the gun I'm using is another CZ 550 bolt action rifle. Let's have a look. It appears that I hit right there with the 458 lot. And we are gonna see. Ugh. Nope. <laughs> so as of right now, the 416 Rigby is the only thing that's managed to make it through the 200 pound rubber Atlas stone. But I still got one more rifle to blast this thing with. Oh, all right. The last rifle we have is a Serbu BFG 50A chambered in 50 BMG. A lot has happened in the last year and I realize I have some new subscribers who have no idea that a year ago a 50 BMG almost ended me. These shirts that say just put a thumb in it, in case you didn't know that's how I saved my own life by shoving my thumb into my throat. The video is on the channel. I recommend going and checking it out if you haven't. And if you want to support the channel, pick up a limited edition 
Halloween just put a thumb in its shirt. These are only available for the month of October. And now I'm gonna load this 50 up and I'm gonna shoot this Atlas stone. Cause you know what they say, when you fall off the horse, you should probably stop riding horses. <laughs> Let's go check that out. Looks like we hit just a tad low right here on the U and then it got a little squirrely and shot out the side right here. So it went through, but at a weird angle, it shot out the side, hit the table, and then hit the berm. I'm gonna take one more shot though. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out one last time. Let's see if we can find that second shot. The first shot was right here on this U. Looks like that is our second shot. Let's see if we made it through. And that's from the first shot. That's from the 416 Rigby. It doesn't look like the 50 BMG made it through on the second shot. So the 416 Rigby and the 50 BMG managed to make it through the stone. But the second shot of the 50 BMG did not make it through. I think it hit the iron core and it stopped it. I don't think the 416 Rigby or the first shot of the 50 BMG managed to hit the core. I think that if you make it to that iron core, it's pretty much going to stop anything. going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a big favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. See you next time.